I'm going to show you how to go from zero to 10K in less than one month on Upwork. I know it sounds crazy, but let's get right to it. The most important thing that you want to do in this quest for 10K is to focus on a high paying niche. At least you should be able to charge $50 per hour. So immediately if you're thinking I'm going to get on Upwork and I'm going to become a VA or a data entry specialist, forget about it. You want to focus on a skill at minimum you can charge $50 per hour. And the reason why I say that if you're thinking you want to make 10K in a month, you have to look at it from a mathematical perspective. If you're charging $50 per hour, let's just forget about all the fees and everything. Let's just keep it very simple. But if you're charging $50 per hour and you do that by 10 hours per client, in that situation, you made $500 for one client for 10 hours charging $50. And now in this situation, by having five clients, you're going to make $2,500 per week, which if you times that by four, you're going to hit that amount of $10,000 per month. Now, five clients is not that difficult to get, right? I mean, you work on it, you can get it, it's not that difficult. But now let's take that same example. Imagine if you're a VA who just started out and you're charging $5 per hour. If you get a client and you're working for them for 10 hours now, you're only making $50 for the client for the week. And if you times that by five clients, you're only making how much now? You're making only $250 for the week. And you times that by four, you're only making $1,000. So you have to do 10 times the amount of work in terms of getting the client and, and putting in the number of hours in order to get the same $10,000. That's why it's very important to focus on a niche where you're already starting at, at this range over here. So you're not killing yourself getting 100 clients and doing 100 different things in order to get 10,000 per month. Now with that skill that you have, you want to focus on D to D customers as opposed to B to C customers. And this is very important. If you're going for a skill, let's just say, for example, it's a website design or SEO or, or any other high things so that, that, that is best for you. And if you're going for that skill and if you're targeting that towards individuals, individuals don't have a lot of money. Individuals may only use in a part time business. It's hard to get consistent business or consistent hours with them. But that same skill, if you're targeting companies, companies that budget for their marketing, companies that budget for their sales department or accounting department. So then in that situation, it's something that you're going to be able to get a client from a long-term perspective. In my own example, I provide HubSpot services. So HubSpot is a software, it's a CRM, customer relationship management software. And what I do is I provide that service toward companies. In that situation, when I target companies, they're willing to pay higher. So even if my rate was $50, it's okay. And it's, and I've had the situation where if I've charged them and I've said to them, okay, I'm going to charge you 55 or 60 or 65, depending on the complexity of the work they they haven't blinked an eye over there and they're perfectly fine with that whereas if i was to provide a service that was for example like a va service or some other data entry service which is a very low entry level service and if i start saying to them hey i'm going to charge you more due to the complexity of the situation though they're never going to fall for it right so in this situation you want to focus on b2b customers because companies have budget for their different departments so tapping into that budget you know you can sustain yourself from a long-term perspective whereas if you target individuals it's not going to be the same. From here, if you figured out your niche where you can charge $50 per hour and you figured out how to target companies, you want to make sure that you become an expert in that industry. And when I say expert, it's very important you to stand out. The reason why that is, is because everyone markets themselves as being the best of this or the best of that. But when you can truly stand out as an expert, you can command top dollar. And that's very important because even though you get less clients, but because you're able to charge much more, you're going to reach that $10,000 per month goal much, much faster. And the example that I gave before, if you're charging $5 per hour, you get to $10,000 per month, the number of clients needed and the number of hours needed is much more. But instead, if you're able to charge much more, you need less clients and less hours. So the key over here is focusing on becoming that. So I know I've talked a lot about the strategy, but we can't also forget some basic fundamental things when it comes to our profile on Upwork. So you have to make sure from an Upwork perspective, your profile pop. And what I mean by that is that number one, your profile outline or your description of who you are, what you do, service you provide, first of all. Number two, having a video introduction of yourself, having a profile picture that's professional and conveys yourself as being a professional. And then number four, having a portfolio over there. And last but not least, having a credential, having a certificate. And this is crucial. The best example that I can give you is that imagine when you go to a doctor's office and you're going for a treatment, then you go to the doctor's office and you see all the certificates plastered on the wall. It gives you a level of confidence that when you put your life in the hands of a professional, you feel secure and safe based on the experience that they have. Likewise on Upwork, you are also a doctor 
who is now diagnosing a problem for the for the client who is the patient in this scenario so the client also wants to feel comforted they're going to feel comforted when they see your credential and they'll also be willing to pay higher when they feel that they can trust you and you're an expert in your field as well and that's very important to showcase that on your profile last but not least i want to give the advice of the great financial advisor charles munger when he spoke about making hundred thousand dollars and his statement was whatever you gotta do put your head down and then get to the hundred thousand dollars first it'll get easier after that and likewise you can apply the same logic over here with upwork whatever you have to do put your head down and get to that point where you can make ten thousand dollars a month upwork. i can promise you when you hit that goal life will get much easier and the reason why that is you're going to get so much more experience you're going to get so many more clients who then refer to other clients as well. You'll get other invitations on Upwork as well. So rather than you having to apply for jobs all the time, jobs will be coming to you as well. The field will change completely altogether. So what you need to do in this situation is put your head down and get to the imaginary goal. And once you get there, I can assure you that it's only going to get much more better and easier for you though.